date polo back to 500 BC. It is the oldest team sport in the world, but they're making their way over here, led by our first umpire, Francisco Yosa. Then the Citizens team, then the Frost and Frost team, and our second umpire, Nate Ruby. Bruby. All right, now for player introductions. Let's start first with the team in green. The Citizens First team playing in the number one is Ava Hinkson. Playing in the number two is Paige Boone. The number three is gonna be Nick Johnson. And playing the anchor today, Francisco Bilbao. All right, now for Team Frost and Frost, you've already heard him talking today, the one and only Lord Lyle. The number two is gonna be Chavello Briones. And playing the number three is gonna be Mr. Brad Limehouse. And the anchor of the Frost and Frost team is gonna be Mr. Tony Vita. Our two mounted umpires are Nate Barubi and Francisco Yosa. Throwing in our first ball down front is gonna be the other half of the Frost and Frost team, Jenny Frost. The more important half. Well done, the first throw in in. And this is gonna be bounced out. And it's going to be picked up there by Francisco Bilbao. Bilbao goes across the field, lost one up over everyone's head. Out front, Nick Johnson trying to get there. He's going to leave it there and take Lord Lyle away from the play. And Paige Boone, following up the play perfectly, puts it right up to Ava Hinkson. Hinkson comes through. And right there, you got your first goal in a matter of about 10 seconds. That shows you how fast these players can go from midfield all the way to one end. And that was... Now what you're going to notice, all the players come back to midfield. We bowl the ball back in just like we did to start the match. But what you're going to notice now, if you've never been to a polo match, yes, Citizens is going the opposite direction now. And that's what happens after every single goal. They switch ends after every goal. And now right out of that throw in, this was Bill Bow to Boone. And once again, Citizens puts it between the uprights. Pay they're waiting for everyone to line up. They got 25 seconds to get back to the throw in once the goal is scored. And then the umpire will throw the ball in, even if the players are not there. Here comes Tony Vita for the Frost and Frost team. He says, let's go, guys. We've already allowed them two goals. And now here comes Lord Lyle. Lord Lyle with a shot on goal. But Nick Johnson's right there. He deflects it. And now it's sitting right there on the field. Paige Boone comes in with a nice back shot out into open space. And now... Boone comes back to it, avoids the hook from Chavello. You can see the players as they're going up the field and the opponents try to hook their mallet. Just like on that one where Tony hooked the mallet of Paige. That's perfectly legal as long as you don't reach over, under, around the horse to do it. And you've seen some of the players coming together for a bump and that's perfectly legal too as long as you don't bump the person behind their saddle. You're going the same speed, same direction. And now here we come across the field. You see the two players coming together perfectly right there. Tony and Ava coming together. Ava's trying to try to get back there and try to hook the mallet. But she doesn't have to because the ball goes kind of off. And now it's going to be picked up right there by Brad Limehouse. But out there is Nick Johnson playing a zone back right there just waiting. And now Nick Johnson's going to be right there to pick up that loose ball. Not allow Brad to get back to it. And now here comes Nick Johnson. Nick with a nice shot across the field. And it's right there to Bill Bow's mallet. He's got Chavello there harassing him. Putting some pressure on him. Chavello steals it on the near side. The near side is the left side of that horse. And that's where he just made that hit as well. And now you have the off side of the horse, which is the right side of the horse. Please pay attention on that tailgating side if the play does come near you, because sometimes that ball does go over the board, just like a foul ball in baseball. Three minutes, three minutes left here in chucker number one. So please pay attention when that ball does come near you on the boards so that it doesn't fly over. Here comes Nick Johnson. Johnson clears it out of the goal. And now coming across the field is going to be Francisco Bilbao on a fast horse. Here we come up in front of you all. Lord Lyle chasing him down right in front of the pavilion. And Bilbao's right there. You see him. Look at it off the bounce. What a play. Now Lord Lyle backs it, but not enough on it. And right there is Francisco. Puts another pass up there. 
And now you notice the players coming in. There's a right away to each play. And now here comes Brad Limehouse. I'll explain a little bit more about the right away here in just a moment. But this is Brad Limehouse clearing it out of danger. The Frost and Frost team now trying to get on the board, trying to slow down that momentum of the Citizens team. It came out on fire here in Chucker number one. Paige Boone takes it forward. And now she's waiting for it to settle down, pulls it away from the boards. Waiting for the players to clear. You notice the players coming in, putting bumps. And now waiting, and that was Tony Vita sneaking in the back door. And now here comes Brad Limehouse with a pass back up. And the whistle sounds. So our first whistle of the match right there. Kind of when someone crosses in front of you or behind you and makes you slow down. Got 146. One minute, 46 seconds left here in chucker number one. This can be a penalty five from the spot of the infraction. Ball placement on penalties determine which direction the teams are going, the severity of the penalty, and where it happens on the field. Here comes Paige Boone now across the field. Goes from the offside to the near side. And now she's going to go back to the offside. Little neck shot, trying to get it up there, but Tony comes in. Now Brad Limehouse is right there. Brad takes it forward. Page is coming in to try to steal it away, but here comes Brad Limehouse across the field. Brad, but right there's Boone. She comes in, takes it away for a minute, but not far enough. Lord Lyle calling for the ball up front, and now Brad's not able to release it yet. Now he's looking up the field. He's got an opportunity to release the ball. Doesn't get a lot on it, but does on the second shot. Right there to Tony Vita it goes, but right there is Bill Bow playing his strong defense. And now here comes the ball, pops up in the air. Boone on the near side, but right there's Tony Vita. Vita stops and turns on that nice gray pony. Now he's got an opportunity for the Frost and Frost team. They're making their way up the field. Here comes Tony, he's about the 60 yard line, making his way down, takes a shot on goal, and it's wide left. And so here we come. Like I mentioned, the flagger will wave the flag high when it goes in, and he waves it low when it does not. Here we come up the field. That's the 30-second horn. 30 seconds left in chucker number one. Players know now how much time is left in trying to get the ball in the goal or as least close to their goal as possible, knowing the next chucker is going to start where this one ends. And now here comes Brad Limehouse. Goes with a neck shot. Nice look, and it's going. Will it make it off the end of the field before the clock expires? Yes, it does. And Chucker number one is in the books with the score. Citizens two, Frost and Frost zero. Give both teams a round of applause. They're going to go change horses, and they'll be back out in just a moment. And all kinds of goodies throughout the week, and they ride them and exercise them, groom them. This is going to be Bill Bow brings the ball in off the end line, puts a nice pass up there to Nick Johnson. Nick looks like he has a ponytail, but I believe that's just one of his hoodies underneath his jersey. All right. Nick with a nice shot forward right there, but it's going to be intercepted. Boone comes through, but right there's Chavello. Chavello with the ball, taking it across the field. Nicely done right there. Paige Boone comes in with the back shot right there to Nick Johnson. Nick now trying to get there before Chavello, but he picks it up on the near side. But Nick Johnson's right there. Nick now is going to clear the ball right up there perfectly. The number one position is out front, and here comes Ava. Ava puts her head down, doesn't make contact. Oh, Paige's horse kind of gave her a little anarchy there for a second. Ran away from the ball. And now here comes Tony Vita with a nice pass up, but it's intercepted right there by Nick Johnson. Nick bypasses Tony. Now he's on an open run towards the goal. He's got Chavello out there in front of him. Now he takes a shot on goal. Nick Johnson puts it between the uprights. Team in green. Boone gets a mallet on it, and then right there was a nice near side back shot by Brad Limehouse right up to Tony Vita. Tony now is going to try to avoid Bill Bow, but Bill Bow is right there trying to reach out, not able to hook the mallet, and Tony reaches back. This could be Frost and Frost's first goal, and I believe that one went in between the uprights, so Frost and Frost is on the board. Make sure and cut this deficit down. Ball's in play. Boone comes out with it. Winning these throw-ins normally means you win matches. Chavello tries to hook the mallet, not able to. Paige Boone goes to the near side once, twice. Ball's sitting right there. And now it's going to be Tony Vita. Vita comes through, slaps a 
towards the boards. Here comes Bill Bow coming in, stealing away, but can't keep control of it. And now here comes Tony, bounces it off the boards right there. And now Tony's going to pull it away from the boards and try to run up along the boards right there, right in front of the birthday party over there on that far side, I believe. And now here comes Tony across midfield. Tony just scored on one end. Can he possibly put number two on the board and cut the deficit down? Tony Vita bypasses all the Citizens players, and this one goes in between the uprights. That is a coast-to-coast -coast for Tony Vita. Score now. So the Frost and Frost team getting that, the oil and everything in the engine all lubricated up nicely, trying to get those ponies out and running. And now here comes Bill Bow. He reaches once, twice. He avoids the hook from Limehouse. And now he's going to zig and zag his way through all those black jerseys. And now he's off and running. Oh, the ball jumps over his mallet. And now here comes Paige Boone. And we have a whistle. Rather than moving it up. Now, if the team was actually going towards their goal, they may have moved it up to a penalty four. But here comes Francisco with a nice pass up the field. But right there's Chavella with a near side back shot. Trying to get there quickly is going to be. I believe that's Tony down there in the corner. But Paige is putting the pressure on. They're doing a little loop around. That is deep in the corner down there, but Tony's still in control, not allowing the citizens to get it. But this time Ava comes in, puts a bump on him, slows him down a little bit more. And now he's going to be out in the open air now. Now Tony's going to let that pony run a little bit, trying to bypass all those green jerseys. But here comes Bill Bow up against the boards. And now here comes... Lord Lyle coming in, doesn't get what he wants. And now here comes Frankie across the field, looking for to get this angled back towards his goal. Nicely done right here. And now here comes Brad Limehouse to try to hook the mallet, doesn't do it. And Francisco Bilbao puts it between the uprights. So team citizens right now, all four players are on the board. Each of them has scored one goal. You hear the mallets coming together. It's like a little sword fight in there. And now here comes Paige Boone out with the ball. Paige, nicely done, puts it up there. Looks like she's driving for show. Oh, this one takes a bad hop. And now it's backed right there. Ava tries to get a mallet on it, not able to. Sitting right there at the 60-yard line. And Tony leaves it there for Brad. Brad Limehouse now, 30 seconds. 30 seconds left here in chucker number two. They're gonna try to get up that end of the field. And now on the near side. And now it's going to be Brad Limehouse with another pass up there. Lord Lyle has an opportunity. Lord Lyle going to go for Frost and Frost. One times it, but just wide right, but so close. So that. Nothing. I doubt it. Trying to find out what their strategy was, possibly. He tries a little bit of everything on the field. All right, here we go. Little back shot right there. Now it's going to be picked up by Bill Bow. Francisco now puts a nice pass across the field. Let's see if Noche Bueno and Nick Johnson are going to take off to the races here. No, he's going to slow it down, wait for his team to go forward. Now he releases the ball out there nicely. Who's going to be the first one there? Ava's going to have to get it on the near side. Well done right there. And now well played right there by Ava Hinkson. Brings the ball forward. And now it's sitting right there about the 40-yard line. And it's going to be backed out of danger with the famous Lord Lyle back shot. But now it's going to be intercepted right there by Bill Bow. Francisco with the ball. Tapping it once, tapping it twice. And now he says, I'm going to bypass. No, he's going to put on the brakes. And right there is Tony DeVita. He's right there. But now here comes, I believe we had it. It went over the end line. Frost and Frost is going to bring the ball in off the end line. Down by two goals. They'll probably have to give a pep talk at halftime. Tom Frost will have to go down there and talk to his team. Try to get him encouraged. And now here we come up the field. This is Tony. Oh, the ball bounces up over his mallet. Oh, right there's Lord Lyle, though, in the rumble seat. Well done. Puts the ball right up the field. But now it's off the boards. And Paige comes in. Takes it away from Lord Lyle, but he comes in, rides into her swing a little bit there. But now it's going to be picked up by 
Brad Limehouse, right in front of the Nick Johnson fan club, and Alan's birthday over there, eating cupcakes all to themselves over there. I see you over there, Bob, eating a second cupcake and not passing them on. Now here comes Francisco, Bill Bow, waiting. Tony's got to clear out of the way. That allows Frankie to hit the ball up the field nicely right there. And now picking it up, it's going to be Chavello. No, he leaves it there for Brad Limehouse. Brad Limehouse doesn't make contact, and Paige Boone comes in, picks up the loose ball. Paige trying to get around Brad right there. Ball goes up the field. Now it's going to be picked up by Nick Johnson on the near side. Nick does a little flip back shot. Look at this teamwork between the players. Nick with a little flip shot, and now Paige shoots, and just like that, they got goal number five. And now Nick reaches back, gets the ball going in the right direction. Now here comes Paige Boone. Paige, oh, this one pops up in the air. Chavello tries to hit it out of the air like a pickleball. And now, ball's sitting right there. And now it's going to be picked up by Tony. Tony, he's got one player forward. Tony's still in control of the ball. Tony Vita right here in front of the pavilion. You guys awake downstairs? I hear crickets. All right, the ball's right up there against the boards. The VIP section's full right down there. Little fakeroo by Nick Johnson, and now he flips it door to Paige. Paige picks it up on the near side. Well done right there once, twice, and now Paige with a nice flip shot up the field, and Ava Hinkson's out there, puts a bump on Chavello. Well done right there, but Chavello does make contact, and now it's going to be picked up by Francisco. Bill Bow now about the 40. He flips the back shot. Paige Boone picks it up on the near side one times it in between the uprights so the umpires line the players back up once again they switch ends after every goal and now ball bounces out nicely right there so team citizens now has increased their lead up to six to two Increased their lead to four. Six to two is the score. And now here comes Ava. She's putting the pressure on Limehouse, but we rode in a little bit too late right there. That's called a right away infraction. And this is going to be Brad Limehouse. You see Nick trying to time it just right. Nick comes across, but not able to defend it. And it goes in between the uprights. So Brad. Now the players line up. Limehouse jumps to throw in. And now it's going to be picked up there by Chavello. Chavello Brionis gets that ball out into open air. But right there's Bill Bow, puts a bump on him, steals the ball away. One. One minute. One minute left here before halftime. We'll be able to go down there and pick up a Arden's Fine Jeweler specialty drink. And now here comes Paige Boone. Boone with a nice long shot up the field on her second attempt right there. And now Nick Johnson is right there. Maybe a little flip shot between the uprights. But it goes wide right. Right there in front of the photographer, Keith, down there getting some great pictures. Knock in for Frost and Frost. Six to three is the score. 30 seconds, 30 seconds left in this chucker. Let's see if Frost and Frost can possibly put this one through the uprights. Start cheering them on. Here they come up the field. Chavello Brionis with an opportunity here. Brad Limehouse getting in right behind him. Chavello reaches out once, twice. Now Limehouse is right there. Taps it once. Frost and Frost doing their best. And Brad Limehouse taps it between the uprights to end chucker three on the highest of highest notes with... making their way back out. I want to thank you all for putting all those divots back into place so Nick Johnson doesn't have any excuses for missing the ball the second half. Can't say it hit a divot. So if you recall, Lord Lyle scored a goal right in the end of the truck, right? So for Brad scored. I'm sorry, I do apologize. Brad scored right at the end of the chucker. So we're going to start chucker four with a throw in. Six to four is the score. Let's see if the team change up some strategy. Right out of that throw in, Lord Lyle comes out with the ball, taking it up towards the south end, towards the softball fields. But 
unable to make contact with the ball right there. Now picking up the loose chain. It's going to be Francisco Bilbao. Francisco with a nice pass up the field. Not too far, not too short. Right there to Paige. Paige now puts that pony into high gear. Says goodbye, Brad Limehouse. And now she puts a nice pass out there to Nick Johnson. And now Nick lines one from about a hundred. Could it be? Might it be? Holy moly! See, I told you, you don't have no excuses. He put that one through the uprights from about 89 and a half yards out. Still having a good time over there. Awesome. Also, Alan, thank you for the cupcakes. We all enjoyed them up here. All right, ball's back in play. Seven to four is the score after that nice drive by Nick Johnson. He's got another opportunity right here. Let's see if he goes for it. Yes, he, oh no, no, he does a little half swing. And right there comes Boone. She comes into the play, and I believe we may have a buried ball. Justin Frost. This is going to be Brad Limehouse. Limehouse with the ball. Ava comes in, tries to put the pressure on. Now Tony's right there with Brad. And now Brad, excuse me, Tony with a nice pass back up to Brad Limehouse. Here he comes. He's crossing over midfield. Look at Brad Limehouse. Keeps that ball going forward right in front of all the Frost and Frost Wealth Management people downstairs in the VIP. And Brad Limehouse, oh, so close. But he can't keep control. Oh, look at this. Bill Bow has everyone going east, or excuse me, west. And he decides to go east. And now he's going right up there. Ava nicely done right there. Takes the man. Perfectly done right there. She's keeping Chavella away from the ball. Well done by Ava. Oh, now Paige reached back once, twice, not able to get contact the fourth time. And now here comes Brad Limehouse. Limehouse is waiting for the right moment to release the ball. And Lord Lyle calls for it, and he shall receive. But unfortunately, his pony rode over top of it. And now here comes Paige Boone across the field to Bill Bow. Francisco now. Bill Bow looking up the field. This one kind of goes off the cane of his mallet. Now he goes to the near side. Now back to the offside and puts it up there. See who's going to be the next one to get a mallet on. It's going to be Chavello, but he's hooked off the plague nicely right there by Ava. And now the ball ricochets right to Nick Johnson's mallet. Nick Johnson with a little flip shot. It's still on the field of play, but it goes in between the uprights. So back to middle they go. So Citizens doubling up the Frost and Frost team now. Eight to four. Boone comes out with it. Paige Boone nicely done here in chucker number four. Still in control, trying to stay out in front of Chavello. Well done. Three minutes left. And now here comes Boone. She puts it over past the goal post. And what? So here yeah. comes Tony. Tony off the end line. Starting to get a little quiet out here. I know the beverage cart's over on the far side. The bar is downstairs. You all need Two to wake half. up. Two and a half minutes. And here comes Chavello. Chavello lost one up in the air. Can he get there? It's going to be Lord Lyle jumping in there. Now Chavello tries to get him out on it. Not able to. And Paige Boone is right there. Excuse me. That's Nick Johnson. Nick Johnson is right there. Swings once. Swings twice. Leaves it there for Bill Bow. Frankie with a nice pass up the field. Nice give and go. And now Nick Johnson's going to be right there in front of the fan club. Price says hello, grabs a cupcake, and now he's off to the races. Nick Johnson once, twice, and now he's avoiding the hook many times by Chavello. Goes to the near side. These two players, let's see what Nick Johnson does. Look at this cut shot towards the goal. It's rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, so close, but what an effort right there by Nick Johnson. Yes, that is the name of the horse. 130. One minute, 30 seconds. Uh -oh. Ava puts some pressure on, stops and turns. Ava avoids the hook from Limehouse and puts it between the uprights. So the ball's back in play. Out of that throw and Chavello gets a mallet on it. All the players coming together right there. And now it's going to be Tony Vita. Vita with the ball. Ava's right there once again, putting the pressure on. This time, Tony keeps the ball away from her. 
And now he's going to leave it there for Chavello, but right there is Paige Boone. 30 seconds, 30 seconds left here in chucker number four before we go into the frantic fifth chucker. They're right here in front of you all. Paige waits for it to bounce off the boards. And now puts it over there. She knows the clock is running down. And we're down to 10 seconds. And now Bill Bow puts the ball up there. He knows the next chucker is going to start where this one ends. Try to get it as close to his end as possible, if not score. He is going towards the goal, but right there is the final horn. Chucker four is in the books with the score, nine to four. Yes, get book. No, you can't. Okay. I know. All right, ball's back in play. Here we go, the frantic fifth. And just like that, we have a siren. All right, here comes Brad Limehouse. He clears the ball up the field, trying to get it to Chavello. Chavello comes flying in right there. And there is a whistle on the play. He puts the mallet to it, puts it right up there about the 30 yard line. Two players coming together. The ball's sitting right there. Limehouse gets a mallet on it. And now Brad going to try to clear it out. Keeps control of the ball. Now a little flip shot right over to his teammate. And here comes Lord Lyle. Lord Lyle coming alive in chucker number five. And now, oh, that one pops up over his mallet. And now here comes Paige Boone. Boone taps it forward once. Second time, oh, the ball pops up over her mallet. And now look at Ava, nicely done, avoids the hook from Limehouse. Someone put, nailed that ball to the ground. Now here comes Paige with a reverse neck shot across the field right there. Nick comes in, hooks the mallet at Chavello, and now little flip back shot, look at this. You'd think these players have played a few matches together. They kind of know where each other is all the time. Oh, that ball's sitting right there. Now it's going to be Paige Boone. Boone with another shot up the field, but it ricochets off a pony. And now it's going to be picked up by Chavello. Chavello coming across the field. Nicely done right there. He's coming up near midfield, waiting for some players to go forward so he can pass the ball up to him. Limehouse comes out of a cannon and bypasses Nick Johnson and takes a shot on goal. And just like that, Frost and Frost has tally number five. All right, got a whistle. Nick trying to see if all the shoes are okay. Ball's back in play. And here comes Tony. Tony with a nice shot out into open space. That allows for Brad to come in with a possible chance right here. They're going to cut the deficit down a little bit more. Nice shot towards the goal right there. It's near the goal mouth. And Nick Johnson clears it out of the goal mouth for Team Citizens right over to Bill Bow along the boards. And now he waits for it to bounce off the boards. Gets his horse going northbound right here he puts a little shot across doesn't get enough on it to reach page but he comes flying through and here comes bill bow he's starting to get everything going in the right direction and now he flips it up still in control and now oh this one goes off the cane of his mallet and now it's going to be a back shot by brad limehouse but no one's there. No, actually, Tony's right there to pick up the pass. Tony Vito along the boards, crossing over midfield. Tony trying to keep it away from Bill Bow. Tony now with the ball, leaves it there for Limehouse. Brad Limehouse following up the play nicely with a shot across the field. But Nick Johnson's right there once again to clear it out of danger for Citizens. Three, three minutes, three minutes. Once again, we're right over here by the boards. We are just here just a second ago. A little back shot right there by Tony, right to Lord Lyle. Lord Lyle trying to get him out on it, not able to. And now Francisco Bilbao backs it out of danger. But Chavello's right there. Chavello and Paige come together. The ball's sitting right there. And now here comes Ava. Well, we had a mallet on the ground. So they pick up the mallet. 
whistles. Limehouse goes with his shot on goal. It's deflected right there by Francisco Bilbao. He puts a shot up the field. Let's see if Nick Johnson can outrun Brad Limehouse now. Here we go. The two of them are crossing over midfield. Here comes Nick Johnson. Nick, yeah, you should be reaching for the sky. And now here's a back shot right here. You were looking to the sky rather than at the ball on that one. But here comes Lord Lyle. Lordy. Oh, this one ricochets off the heel of his mallet. And now here comes Bill Bow. Bill Bow. Puts a pass up the field to Ava. She's going to leave it there, though, for Frankie to hit another shot up the field nicely. Javello comes through right there. Javello gets a mallet on it. Here we go back the opposite direction. Javello and Nick Johnson, they're going to let those horses stride out. Here comes Javello. Here comes Nick Johnson. Nick takes it forward. And now, one, and a half. one minute, 30 seconds, 130. Here comes Nick Johnson once again. Nice looking gray pony right there. Nick. Now Ava knocks it down. Nicely done. Ball sitting right there, but here comes Frost and Frost. Team Frost and Frost. Tony Vita. It looks like Lord Lyle's going to break to the goal. Here comes Tony. Can he get the pass up to him? He goes for it. And out front, all alone, is going to be Lord Lyle with an opportunity. He puts a mallet to it. And this one goes wide, one. right. One minute, one minute left here in the frantic fifth. Nine to knock in. Citizens dodges a bullet right there. Frost and Frost trying to get another goal on the board. Now here comes Nick Johnson. Nick with a nice shot up the field. Here comes Paige Boone. But Lord Lyle's going to be the first one there. Lordy. Nice little open back shot right there, but Paige Boone's right there. She backs it 30 seconds. 30 seconds, and look at this. Bill Bow's right there. Ava's right there. She reaches out once, twice. Now Nick Johnson sneaks in there. He knows the clock is ticking down. Nice looking neck shot right up there in the goal mouth. And Ava's going to be out there, but Chavello's right there. Ava puts a mallet on it. And it, oh, so close. What a save by Chavello. The ball goes over the end line. Let's see if the whistle's going to get a little sing along. The only one. I went over his own end line, so here comes Paige Boone from the 60 yard line. Paige, nicely done. That ball's going towards the goal, but Lord Lyle saves it. Nick Johnson's right there. Nick riding Dinamita, I believe. Nick right there, waiting for the right moment. Now he's going to flip it. It bounces off a pony's foot and rolls between the uprights. Nick Johnson. <laughs> All right, ball's thrown back into play. A little flip back shot by Frankie, and now here comes Paige. She puts a nice pass up to Nick Johnson. Nick taps it once, looks over his shoulder, taps it again, and Nick Johnson's going to walk this one right between the uprights for goal number 11. There. Staying busy, going back and forth, putting those new numbers up. Here comes Tony Vita. He's got two players out front. Is he able to get the ball out there? Yes, he can. Tony with a nice long shot. And Brad jumps on that pass. Brad Limehouse walking this one through the uprights. No, it goes wide right. I jinxed him. I thought it was going to go between the uprights. He. All right, so. They needed that one, that was for sure. And now here comes the knock-in by Citizens. And four. Paige puts a nice pass, four minutes. Four minutes left here in the sixth and final chucker. Ava gets ridden off the play there by Tony. And then the ball ricochets back, and Paige Boone picks up the loose ball. Taps it once, taps it twice. Now goes for the big shot up the field, well done. Drops it up there near the goal mouth. Going to make Team Frost and Frost come in and back it nicely done by Lord Lyle right there right there to Tony Vita Vita picks it up on the fly Tony now being chased down by Ava but he puts her on her hip and now look him coming right there in front of you all give him a round of applause look at this two players fighting oh the pony kicks it out to Brad Brad Limehouse now looks over the shoulder Lord Lyle says the middle but Brad puts it down the boards to his other teammate Tony Tony now goes to the near side 
No, he reaches down there, pulls it back to his offside. Now he's got players going forward. Can they go forward here? Tony Vita avoids the hook there from Ava, but here comes Nick Johnson. He's right there. He steals it away. And now Nick, everyone going one way. He decides to go the other way. Brad ducking out of the way. Doesn't get enough on it to get it up to his teammate. Now Brad, he comes in, fakes the back shot. Nick Johnson comes in, tries to steal away, not able to. And Brad Limehouse with an opportunity to put goal six on the board. Walking it along the end line right there. Can Brad put it between the uprights this time? Yes, he can. Brad Limehouse puts it between the uprights for goal number six. Ball's back in play. Coming out with the ball is Chavello. Chavello has the ball going forward, avoids the hook from Ava, but the second time he's not able to. She's right there. And now, Brad, excuse me, Tony with the pass back up to Chavello. Frost and Frost now coming back alive right here, and now Chavello's in front of the goal, and it goes. S1 went wide right. Here comes a knock in for Team Citizens. Here comes Nick Johnson. Nick. Let's see if he's going to let Dina Mita run. Right there she is. Look at that gorgeous Bay Mare. Now he's going to leave it there for Paige. Paige comes through. Paige Boone with the ball reaches once, twice, but Nick Johnson's right there. Look at him keep it up in the air. Oh, he almost puts it in Tony's pocket. And now one minute, one minute left here before our final horn sounds. And now Nick Johnson trying to get another goal on the board, reaches down there on the near side, but then right there is gonna be Chavello. Chavello Briones with the ball now, coming back up the field right here for Team Frost and Frost. Puts a pass up the field to Lord Lyle. Lord Lyle letting that pony run. Lord Lyle crossing over midfield, still in control. A nice approach shot up the field. Slows his pony down a little bit. Lord Lyle, oh, this one goes off the heel of his mallet. 30 seconds left in our match. And the score, I believe, is gonna end up 11 to six, our final today, as Bill Bow comes in to get the ball. And now he's gonna carry it across the field to let the clock run out oh he doesn't get a mallet on it right there here comes the famous Lord Lyle back shot towards the goal but it's gonna go wide and that's gonna end our match right there as the teams come to a final score of 11 to 6 get both teams a round of applause what a match today team citizens coming out on top 11 to 6 on this Nice gelding right here called F1. So let's give Nick a round of applause. We go up here is Drew. That's playing Tony. And Tori getting the picture with and hand a nice present to him. There we go. It was I think it cost like I think it was like 50 cents. Alright, so that was our best playing pony today. Played by Nick Johnson and Fifth Chucker. Alright, now we're going to get the teams up on the podium here. Alright, so let's get both teams a round of applause. We got Citizens First Bank up on the podium. Lord Lyle decides he wants to be up there as well, so we're going to put Frost in front. Oh, he's going to get in the middle of the picture? Well, your back shot was a little bit off today, Lordy. But there's our both our teams up there now. So let's give them another round of applause. What a match today. Final score. Citizens coming out on top. Little Fosters as well. We'll get you all organized. Keith's in charge right now. Listen to him so you guys get good pictures. Not mug shots. All right, so, all right, Tori, you head back up there. Let's hand out some trophies. For our runners up today, our Frost and Frost team. <laughs> Playing at number one for Frost and Frost was Lord Lyle. Playing at number two was Chubello Briones. Playing at number three, Brad Limehouse. And the number four, Tony Vida. All right, now 
for Team Citizens first, and the number one was Ava Hinkson. The number two, Paige Boone. The number three, Nick Johnson. And the number four, Francisco Bilbao. And Stout. You gotta get in the middle, Tori. Our MVP today, we had the best playing pony already. Our MVP today scoring three goals, giving a hard time to all the Frost and Frost players, Ava Hinkson. <laughs> Tori, stand right there, winner of the show. Alright, that was our match for today. Thank you all for coming out. Next Friday, we'll be back out here at 3 o'clock, as well as Sunday. Once again, I want to thank all our sponsors as well. And the bar is still open. We're handing out some good drinks up there. So we will be back next week. Once again, we have polo here at the Villages Polo Club every Friday and Sunday all the way until May 23rd.